monsters A, B, C A, B, C monsters A, B, C monsters With Alice and Brian and Cherry Berry too They're seeking of monsters There are a few And Alphabet Garden is the monsters' home But they like to wonder They love to roam Everyone, and welcome to another beautiful day in Capital Town. Hmm, the sign says that there's a jamboree at Capital Castle. Let's take a look and see. Wow, look at Pea Monster. He's very talented. He's spinning plates. Uh oh, I hope they weren't Queen Scribble's favorite plates. I wonder what King Wordy and M Monster are up to. Abracadabra! They're performing a trick. <laughs> hey, look! It's Cherry Berry and J Monster juggling. They're very good, aren't they? Will you be juggling for the Jester Jamboree, Cherry Berry? I wanted to do an act that nobody had ever seen before, but I can't think of anything. So I don't think I'll be taking part this year. But you've got to! You always enter the Jester Jamboree. It's tradition! We'll try and help you think of an act, Cherry Berry. Thanks, but I don't think there's enough time. Is there, Jay Monster? Uh-oh. Now, where did she disappear to? We'd better assemble the ABC monsters and check that they are all here. And with a wave of Cherry Berry's jester stick, all the ABC monsters line up in alphabetical order. Let's sing along to the ABC song and help Alice find the missing letter. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. Carefully, one of the ABC monsters is missing. Can you guess which one it is? H I K L. Hmm, this is a hard one. Oh, I know. That's right. The missing letter is J. So it is J monster that has disappeared. Oh no! What will we do now? Let's look in the ABC book and see if it can help. The clue says, this is the name of a wibbly-wobbly dessert. Mmm, I like desserts. Look, the ABC book is telling us to go west. Come on, everyone, let's go. Alice, Brian and Cherryberry had been walking for quite some time when Alice suddenly said, My legs are tired. Mine too. We've been walking for ages. Don't give up just yet. I'm sure we're nearly there. Hey, who's that over by the hedge? It's Jenny Shaker, the jelly maker. I wonder what she's doing. <laughs> Hello, Jenny. Hello, Alice. What are you three doing here? We're looking for Jay Monster. Have you seen her? Yes, yeah, she was helping me pick some of these juicy raspberries, but she's gone now. Ooh, are you making raspberry jelly? That's right, Brian. I'm making a giant raspberry jelly for the Jester Jamboree. Mmm, sounds delicious. Unfortunately, I've lost three jugs that contain my special jelly mixture. Can you help me find them? Yes, we'd love to help. I think they're in the kitchen. Don't worry, Jenny. We'll find them for you. Ooh, look at all that jelly. I'm sure my jugs are hidden away in here somewhere. Can you help Alice, Brian and Cherryberry find Jenny's special jugs of jelly mixture? 
Can you see them yet? Well done! You found all of Jenny's jugs. Shall we count them? Ready? Count with me. One, two, three. Thank you for finding my jugs of jelly mixture. Now I'll be able to make my giant jelly for the Jester's Jamboree. Jelly, that's it. Jelly is the answer to the ABC book's clue. This is the name of a wibbly wobbly dessert. Jelly. J E L L Y. Jelly. We solved the first puzzle. Excellent. But can you work out what the second puzzle might be? This is the name of the shiny green object that Jack Jackdaw is looking for. Good luck solving your new clue. I hope you find Jay Monster soon. And so Alice, Brian, and Cherry Berry waved goodbye to Jenny Shaker, the jelly maker, and continued on their journey. I'm sure Jack Jackdaw lives here in the park somewhere. Can you see Jack Jackdaw? That's right, he's sitting on Brian's head. I wonder where he can be. <laughs> there he is, Brian. <laughs> and you can't see him. <laughs> Are you looking for me? Yes. We thought that you might know where we can find Che Monster. Yes, have you seen her? I have. I spoke to her earlier. I'll give you a clue if you can help me with a puzzle. We love puzzles. Great! I need to find my shiny green jewel. Can you help me find it? Can you help Alice, Brian and Cherry Berry find Jack Jack Daw's shiny green jewel? The jewel is located somewhere within the park and it looks like this. Is it in section 1, section 2 or section 3? Look very carefully. Can you see it? That's right! The jewel was in section one. Well done! There you go, Jack! I'm so happy that you found my shiny green jewel! Jewel! That's the answer to the second clue! This is the name of the shiny green object that Jack Jackdaw is looking for. It must be a jewel! J-E-W-E-L Jewel! Because you were all so clever, I will give you another clue to solve. Jay Monster has gone to the funniest place in Capital Town to get one of these. I'm sure you'll have that little puzzle solved in no time. So Alice, Brian and Cherry Berry waved goodbye to Jack Jackdaw and set off to track down Jay Monster. Slow down, Brian. We're struggling to keep up. I think I know where to find Jay Monster. Really? Where? The funniest place in Capital Town, of course. And where's that? The joke shop. Come on, you two. Not much farther to go. Is the funniest place in Capital Town? Doesn't look very funny to me. Not on the outside, but inside it's completely different. I can't see Jay Monster. Can you? No, I don't think she's here. Wait a minute, who's that? Can you guess who that is? <laughs> she is dressed very silly, isn't she? That's right! It's Jay Monster! We found her! Quick as a flash, Alice, Brian and Cherry Berry entered the shop to see their friend. <laughs> Hello, Jay Monster! Hello, everyone! <laughs> Why are you wearing that silly outfit? I thought Cherry Berry and I could dress up in silly outfits and do an act together for the Jester Jamboree. That's a fantastic idea! I've also picked up a great new joke from Mr. Jones, the joke shop owner. You can tell it to the audience as we finish the act. <laughs> That's a funny joke! Joke? 
That's the answer to the final clue. Jay Monster has gone to the funniest place in Capital Town to get one of these. She got a joke. J-O-K-E, joke. Joke is the answer to the final clue. We solved all the puzzles, met new friends, and found Jay Monster. Hooray! Later that day, Alice and Brian watched a brilliant act performed by Cherry Berry and Jay Monster. And because Jay Monster found such a brilliant joke, Cherry Berry said she should tell it. Knock, knock! Who's there? Boo! Boo hoo! Don't cry, it's only a joke! <laughs> Hello everyone! Welcome to ABC Monsters Brainy Gang! Say hello to our friends Alice, Brian and Cherry Berry! Today we're going to find out about the letter J. But first, we'll need the help of a special member of the Brainy Gang, J Monster. Hello J Monster! J Monster enjoys singing, so we're all going to sing her favorite song. Are you ready? Monster with a big wobbly jelly. And look, here comes Cherry Berry. Can you work out what letter the jelly has turned into? That's right, it's the letter J. J. All together now, say it with me. J. Look at J Monster. She thinks the letter J will be as yummy as the jelly. Let's see if you can write the letter J with J Monster. Have you got your paper and pencil? Okay then, we're drawing a big J. Well done, that's looking really good. Let's try and do another big J. Excellent, a beautiful letter J. J Monster is very happy because she can now write her favorite letter, J. Now we all know how to write the letter J. Take a look at the following words that begin with J. Do you know what this food is called? Here's a clue. It's wibbly and it's wobbly and you can eat it for dessert. Shout out the answer if you know. That's right. It's jelly. Jelly. J E L L Y. Jelly. That's right. Let's say it one more time. Jelly. J E L L Y. Jelly. Okay, here's puzzle number two for you to solve. Can you guess what this object is called? It is very shiny and very expensive. Have you worked it out yet? 
That's right. It's called a jewel. Now let's see what the word jewel looks like. Jewel. J E W E L. Jewel. Well done. Let's say that again. Jewel. J E W E L. Jewel. Our final puzzle is a hard one, but I'm sure you will be able to work it out. Do you know what this sheet of paper contains? Here's a clue. There is something very funny written on the paper. Something so funny that if you read it to your friends, you'll make them laugh. Have you worked out the answer yet? That's right! It's a joke! And here's what the word joke looks like. Say it with me. Joke. J-O-K-E. Joke. That's right. Let's say it together once more. Joke. J-O-K-E. Joke. Can you think of any more outstanding words that begin with the letter J? Everyone in the Brainy Gang needs to keep fit and active. So get ready for another fun-packed ABC Monster Move. Hello everyone! Do you want to have some fun? Stand on your feet if you want to have some fun. Okay then, clap your hands in the air like this. Now it's time to get fit with the ABC Monsters. And today we'll be doing the J Monster Move. Watch Alice closely as she shows you what to do. It's easy! If Alice can do it, so can you! Are you ready? Here we go! Use your body to make a big J! That's it! That wasn't so hard, was it? Shall we try that again? A big J! That's it! Now you know the J monster move, we can all do it together. Are you ready? One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. And three, two, three, four. Four, two, three, four. That was easy, wasn't it? Let's see if you can do it again. Are you ready? Okay then. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four, and three. Two, three, four, four. Two, three, four. Brilliant! You successfully completed the J monster move. Now, let's have a short rest to get our breath back. Because next, it's the ABC Monster Quest. Look, everybody. It's Jack Jackdaw. Hello, Jack. What are you doing here? Hello, everyone. I'm looking for my shiny green jewel, but I don't know where it is. Don't worry, Jack. We'll help you find it. Can you help Jack Jackdaw find his shiny green jewel? Just fill in the box with the correct letter and help guide him along the path. Look carefully at the following letters. Can you tell me which one fits correctly in the box to make a word? Is it A, E, or the letter P? That's right! The correct letter is E. Jelly J E L L Y Jelly You solved the first word correctly. But can you work out this next puzzle? Which letter do you think we should put into the box? Is it the letter B? K or S. Write again. The letter we need to put into the box is K. Joke. J O K E. Joke. Well done. Now for the final puzzle. Do you think you can complete it? 
Which letter should we put into the box? Is it L, I, or could it be the letter K? Excellent answer! You successfully picked the correct letter again, the letter L. Well done! Three out of three. Jewel. J E W E L. Jewel. Brilliant! You've cleverly guided Jack Jack Doll to his shiny green jewel. Thank you, everyone! Hooray! That's all we have time for today. I hope you enjoyed finding out about the letter of the day, J. But before we go, let's sing along to the ABC song as we say goodbye to Alice, Brian, Cherry Berry, and our very special star of the show, J Monster. A B C D E F G H I J K Get to join the Brainy Gang again for some more fun and adventures with the ABC Monsters. Another wonderful day in Capital Town. Can you hear music? So can I. I wonder where it's coming from. Shall we find out? Capital Town is having a carnival and the ABC monsters are joining in. They've built a carnival float of their very own. Hey, look everybody, it's a monster. He's making sure that there is a letter A on the ABC monster float. Here's Brian and Bee Monster. They've each brought some balloons to attach to the carnival float. And who do we have here? It's Alice and Cherry Berry. They're with a group of ABC monsters who are practicing for the carnival procession. We have J Monster. She's juggling. And C Monster. He's doing cartwheels. Key Monster is playing the trumpet. Isn't she loud? And look! There's H Monster. He's walking on his hand. Everybody has something to do for the Capital Town Carnival. Oh dear. Poor you, Monster, doesn't have anything to do for the carnival. Look! Here comes King Wardy. <coughs> Attention, everybody! The carnival is about to begin! But first, Alice is going to make sure everyone is here. Okay, Alice. It's time to check that every ABC monster from A to Z is ready to go to the carnival. So, with a wave of Cherry Berry's gesture stick, all the ABC monsters line up in alphabetical order. Let's sing along to the ABC song. Look carefully. One of the ABC monsters is missing. Can you guess which one it is? 
S T V W. Hmm, this isn't right. An important letter is missing. Oh, I know. So you monster has disappeared. That's right. The missing letter is you. We'll have to find him before the carnival starts. You're right, Brian. Let's check the ABC book and see what it says. The clue says, Una Underhill needs to find an item that keeps you dry in the rain. The ABC book is pointing southeast. Hey, I know Una Underhill. She's my friend from school. That's near to where she lives. Follow me. I know the way. Alice, Brian, and Cherryberry hadn't been walking for long when Alice said, Look over there. It's my school. I love going to school. You get to learn all sorts of interesting things. Hey, Alice. Did you hear that? It sounded like over here. Look, everybody. It's Una Underhill. Hello, Una. What are you doing here? I'm on my way to the umbrella shop across the road. Why? It's not raining. I know that, silly. My umbrella was broken, and the man in the umbrella shop has fixed it. I'm going to collect it before the carnival starts. And so Alice and her friends went with Una to the umbrella shop. Wow, there's lots of umbrellas here. Hello, Una. I have fixed your umbrella, but I can't remember which one it is. It's one of these four. Can you find the right one? Oh, dear. I know it was red, but I'm not sure which one is the red umbrella. What will I do? Don't worry, Una. We'll help. Can you help Alice, Brian, and Cherryberry find Una Underhill's red umbrella? Look carefully. Can you see it? That's right! You found it! Thank you so much! You found my red umbrella! Umbrella! That's it! The answer to the first clue! Umbrella! U-M-B-R-E-L-L-A! Umbrella! We've solved the first clue! Here's your second clue. See if you can work this one out. Look for a policeman who has lost his very special clothes. I hope my clue helps you to find you, Monster, soon. And so Alice, Brian, and Cherryberry waved goodbye to Una Underhill and continued on their journey. Alice, Brian, and Cherryberry were a little tired after all their walking. So they sat down on a bench. The second clue is very difficult. Yes, how are we going to find a policeman if he isn't wearing the right clothes? Psst. What was that? Hey, over here. Over there. It's P.C. Perkins. What are you doing, P.C. Perkins? Are you catching robbers? Not exactly. This is very embarrassing, but... I've lost my police uniform. <laughs> you look very silly, P.C. Perkins. That's why I'm hiding behind this bush, so nobody can see me. Why are you dressed as a big yellow chicken, P.C. Perkins? Yeah, where's your uniform? I took my uniform to the dry cleaners, and there was a mix-up. Now I have this chicken outfit, and somebody else has my nice, clean uniform. Oh, dear. How will you ever find it? I met you, Monster, a little while ago, and he said that the person who has my uniform might be one of those people in fancy dress. We'll help you find your uniform, P.C. Perkins. Can you help Alice, Brian, and Cherryberry find P.C. Perkins' uniform? Look very carefully. It's dark blue and has shiny silver buttons. Can you see it yet? That's right! You found P.C. Perkins' uniform. Well done! Ha! 
Oh, thank you. I wouldn't be able to police the carnival without my trusty uniform. Uniform! That's the answer to the second clue. Look for a policeman who has lost his very special clothes. PC Perkins is the policeman, and his special clothes are called a... Uniform! U-N-I-F-O-R-M! Uniform! Step closer to finding you, Monster. You're looking for you, Monster? Hmm, I might be able to help you there. Here's a clue that'll lead you to him. You, Monster, is learning to ride a one-wheeled cycle. I hope the clue helps you find him. Thank you, PC Perkins. So Alice, Brian, and Cherry Berry wave goodbye to PC Perkins and set off to find you, Monster. The last clue gave Alice and her friends a clear idea of where you monster might be. If you monster is learning to ride a cycle, there's only one place he can be. That's right! He must be at the bike shop. We better hurry or we might miss him. Can you see who I can see? That's right! It's you monster. He's with Mr. Brown, the owner of the bicycle shop. What's you, Monster, doing? That's a funny-looking bicycle. It's not a bicycle, Brian. It's a unicycle. Bicycles have two wheels, and unicycles have only one. It looks very difficult to ride. That's why Mr. Brown's teaching me. Why are you learning to ride a unicycle, you monster? All the ABC monsters have something special to do at the carnival, except me. So I came down to Mr. Brown's bicycle shop to borrow his new unicycle and ride it in the carnival. Only it's not very easy to ride, so I volunteered to give you, monster, a quick lesson on the unicycle. Unicycle, of course. Remember what the last clue said? You monster is learning to ride a one-wheeled cycle. A one-wheeled cycle is called a unicycle. U N I C Y C L E. Unicycle. Unicycle is the answer to the final clue. We solved all the puzzles, met new friends, and found you, Monster. Hooray! Later that day, Queen Scribble, King Wordy, Alice, Brian, and Cherry Berry watched as the carnival procession made its way past Capitol Castle. And do you know which part of the carnival parade was their favorite? That's right, the ABC Monsters. But the biggest cheer from the crowd came when they saw you, Monster, on his unicycle. Hooray! Unicycles are fun to ride. Hello, everyone. Welcome to ABC Monsters Brainy Gang. Say hello to our friends Alice, Brian, and Cherry Berry. Today, we're going to find out about an unusual letter of the alphabet, the letter U. But first, we'll need the help of a special member of the Brainy Gang. U Monster. U Monster loves to sing happy, upbeat songs. So we're all going to sing a new song just for him. Are you ready? Say hello to Monster U Who's vanished again and overdue His red umbrella will keep him dry Spots a uniform is gone awry Say hello to Monster U Who's vanished again and overdue Ride a unicycle in the carnival ABC Monsters are never dull
Say hello to Monster U, who's vanished again and overdue. His red umbrella will keep him dry. Spots a uniform, it's gone awry. Say hello to Monster U, who's vanished again and overdue. Ride a unicycle in the carnival. ABC monsters are never dull. ABC monsters are never dull. Here's you, monster. He's keeping dry under his umbrella. And look! Here comes Cherry Berry. Can you work out what letter you, monster's umbrella has turned into? That's right! It's the letter U. U. All together now, say it with me. U. <laughs> Look at you, monster! He's worried that he might get wet now that his umbrella has changed into the letter U. Let's see if you can write the letter U with you, monster. Have you got your paper and pencil? Okay then, we're drawing a big U. That's right! Let's try and do another big U. Well done! You've just written the letter U. <laughs> U Monster's very happy because we can all write his favorite letter U. Now that we all know how to write the letter U, let's take a look at some interesting words that begin with… <laughs> you guessed it! U! Here's Una Underhill. She's holding a very special object. Can you guess what it's called? It's an object that keeps you dry when it's raining outside. That's right! Una is holding an umbrella. Umbrella. U M B R E L L A. Umbrella. That's right! Let's say it one more time. Umbrella. U M B R E L L A. Umbrella. Are you ready for puzzle number two? Okay, here it is. Can you guess what PC Perkins is wearing? It's a special word that describes his official police clothes. Can you work it out? That's right! PC Perkins is wearing his uniform. Uniform. U N I F O R M. Uniform. Excellent. Let's say that again. Uniform. U N I F O R M. Uniform. You've answered the first two questions correctly. Let's see if you can get the third and final question right as well. Do you know what this object is called? Here's a clue. A bicycle has two wheels. But this cycle has one wheel. Can you work out what it's called? That's right! It's a unicycle. And here's what the word unicycle looks like. Say it with me. Unicycle. U N I C Y C L E. Unicycle. That's right. Let's say it together once more. Unicycle. U N I C Y C L E. Unicycle. Can you think of any more unique words that begin with the letter U? Members of the Brainy Gang should always keep fit and active. So get ready for another fun-packed ABC Monster Move! Hello everybody! Stand up and get ready to have some fun! Now, clap your hands in the air like this! Great work everyone! Now it's time to get fit with the ABC Monsters. And today, we'll be doing the U Monster Move. Watch Alice closely as she shows you what to do. It's easy! If Alice can do it, so can you! Are you ready? Here we go! Use your body to make a big U! That's it! That was easy, wasn't it? Shall we try that again? 
a big U. That's it! Now that you know the U monster move, we can all do it together. Are you ready? One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. And three, two, three, four. Four, two, three, four. That was fun! Let's see if you can do it again. Are you ready? Okay then. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. And three, two, three, four. Four, two, three, four. Brilliant! You've successfully completed the new monster move. Let's have a short rest to get our breath back. Because next, it's the ABC Monster Quest. Look everybody, it's PC Perkins. <laughs> He's wearing a funny chicken costume. Hello, PC Perkins. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Why are you wearing a chicken costume, PC Perkins? I've lost my police uniform and I need help to find it. Don't worry, PC Perkins. We'll help you find your uniform. Can you help PC Perkins find his uniform? Just fill in the box with the correct letter and help guide him along the path. Look carefully at the following letters. Can you tell me which one fits correctly in the box to make a word? Is it A, T, or the letter M? That's right! The correct letter is M. Umbrella. U M B R E L L A. Umbrella. You solved the first puzzle correctly. But can you work out this second puzzle? Which letter do you think we should put into the box? Letter V, Y, or A. That's right! The letter we need to put into the box is Y. Unicycle. U N I C Y C L E. Unicycle. Well done! Now for the final puzzle. Do you think you can complete it? Which letter should we put into the box? Is it R, A, or could it be the letter T? Excellent answer! You've picked the correct letter again. The letter R. Well done! Three out of three. Uniform. U, N, I, F, O, R, M. Uniform. Well done! You've cleverly guided PC Perkins to his uniform. Thank you for helping me find my police uniform. Hooray! That's all we have time for today. I hope you enjoyed finding out about the letter of the day, Unusual U. But before we go, let's sing along to the ABC song as we say goodbye to Alice, Brian, Cherry Berry, and our very special star of the show, You Monster. A B C D E F G H I J K Join the Brainy Gang again for some more fun and adventures with the ABC Monsters.
with Alice and Brian and Cherry Berry too. They're seeking out monsters, there are a few. And Alphabet Garden is the monster's home, but they like to wonder, they love to roam. ABC Monsters, ABC Monsters, just look and see. ABC Monsters, ABC Monsters, here for you and me. It's another beautiful day in Capital Town. I wonder what the ABC Monsters are up to. Shall we take a look and see? Look, there's S Monster skipping. P Monster and Q Monster having a picnic. And there's M Monster. I wonder what he's doing. Oh dear, oh dear. What's going on? The grass is ruined. They've been popping up all morning. What are they? I'm not sure, but I'd love to find out. Good morning, everyone. We thought you might like a nice glass of orange juice. Oh! <laughs> Enjoy your trip, Brian. <laughs> Very funny. Oh, no! What is happening to Alphabet Garden? Alice, we need to make sure that all the ABC monsters are all safe. Can you check them for me? Yes, with a little help from my friend. And with a wave of Cherry Berry's jester stick, all the ABC monsters line up in alphabetical order. Let's sing along to the ABC song and help Alice find the missing letter. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, One of the ABC monsters is missing. Can you guess which one? K L N O. Hmm. Oh, I know. That's right. The missing letter is M. Oh no, M monster is missing. <gasps> but he was here just a few minutes ago. We must find M monster quickly. Let's look in the ABC book. The clue says, look for a mechanic that has lost something. What's a mechanic? A mechanic is a very special person that fixes cars that are broken. Look, the ABC book is showing us which way to go. East. Okay, east is this way. Let's go. <laughs> Alice, Brian, and Cherry Berry arrive at Murphy's Motor Repairs. We should find a mechanic here. This is a garage, a place where people bring their broken cars. I can't see anyone. Me neither. All I can see are cars. Shall we help Alice, Brian, and Cherry Berry find a mechanic? Let's look around the garage and see if we can see him. Well done! You found someone! I wonder who it is. Hello, under there. Look, it's Mick Murphy, the owner of the garage. What you doing down there, Mick? Oh, hello, everyone. I'm just trying to find my lucky marbles. I'm supposed to be meeting my friend Molly for a game later. What happened? I was teaching M Monster how to play marbles, then I accidentally knocked them on the floor. M Monster was here? Where did he go? I'll give you a clue if you help me find my five lucky marbles. Can you help find Mickey's five missing marbles? Well done! You found marble number one. Brilliant! You found marble number two. Can you see marble number three anywhere? Well spotted! You found marble number three. Only two more to find. Can you see them yet? You've done it again. You found marble number four. Just one more to go. Can you see it? You found marble number five. Congratulations. You found all five marbles. Well done. Here you go, Mick. All five marbles. 
Thank you, everyone. That's it. The answer to the clue. Marbles. M A R B L E S. Marbles. The word fits. I'm so pleased you found them. Now I'll be able to play marbles with Molly later. We're just happy that we could help. Here's a clue to find them monsters. Look for a short-sighted man in uniform who is searching for this. So, with Mick the Mechanic's new clue to solve, Alice, Brian, and Cherryberry wave goodbye. <laughs> we need to find someone short-sighted who's wearing glasses, fast. He's wearing safety goggles. They only stop things from getting in your eyes. Nice try, Brian. But sunglasses protect you from sunlight. They don't help you to see. I can't find anyone that is wearing glasses. Well, not the type that help you see better. I'm sorry, Your Highness. Then they heard a loud voice chatting to someone. Hey, look! It's Major Miller. I wonder why he's talking to the statue of King Wordy. So it looks like I won't be able to attend this evening. I'm very disappointed. <coughs> Who said that? It's me, Major Miller. Alice, King Wordy's daughter. Hello, Alice. I've just been talking to your father. Um, actually, that's a statue of him, Major Miller. Oh, dear. I've lost my glasses. I'm having a terrible time seeing things. I'm even having trouble finding my medal. My friends and I are also on a search. We're looking for our friend and monster. Maybe we can help you, too. That would be splendid. Last time I saw the meadow, it was in here. Don't worry, Major Miller. Leave it to us. If you can find it, I'll give you a clue that will lead you to your friend M Monster. Can you help Alice, Brian, and Cherryberry find the missing medal? The medal is located somewhere within this room, and it looks like this. Is it in section one, section two, section three, or section four. That's right! The medal was in section four. Well done! There you go, Major Miller. My medal! Oh, thank you, everyone! Medal! That's the answer to the clue. M-E-D-A-L! Medal! That's it, Brian. I've also found something else that belongs to you. Oh, thank you. Now I'll be able to see things clearly again. You know, I had a curious conversation with M Monster. He wanted me to tell him all about moles. Moles? They live underground and make a terrible mess. I used to have one living in my garden. The poor thing got lost. He thought he was at Rainbow Hill where all the other moles live. Here's a clue to help you find M Monster. M Monster is in a shop buying something that can give you directions. Hmm, something that can give you directions. <laughs> we could do with something like that. So Alice, Brian, and Cherryberry wave goodbye to Major Miller and set off to solve the last clue. If M Monster is buying something, he should be somewhere down this street. This is where all the shops are. I wonder what he could be buying. Keep a sharp lookout for M Monster. Can you see him yet? There he is. We found him! Hooray! <laughs> Hello, everyone. I think I found a way to stop those mounds in Alphabet Garden. What have you got there? The answer to our problems, thanks to my friend Molly. She's given me this map. Just then, Alice remembered something very important. Map! 
the final clue in the ABC book. M Monster is in a shop buying something that can give you directions. So, M A P, map. Map fits perfectly. We solved all the puzzles, met new friends, and found M Monster. Hooray! So, how is a map? going to stop those mounds from popping up. Let's get back to Alphabet Garden, and you'll find out. What is it? It's a mole! Of course! Those mounds of dirt are called mole hill. Hello? Hello, Mr. Mole. I think you might be lost. You should be here at Rainbow Hill. This is Alphabet Garden. Alphabet Garden? Oh, dear. I'm in the wrong part of town. Here. Take this map with you. It'll stop you from getting lost again. Thank you very much. I'm sorry about the mess. Hooray! Well done, M Monster. You saved Alphabet Garden. It was more trouble at all. Hello, everyone. Welcome to ABC Monsters Brainy Gang. Let's start by saying hello to our friends Alice, Brian, and Cherry Bell. Together, we'll all be learning about the letter M. And here's M Monster. He's here to help us as we find out about our new letter, Marvelous M. Let's all start with one of M Monster's favorite songs. A song that is all about the letter M. today. Here's M Monster beside a molehill on the ground. And look! Here comes Cherry Berry. She's made a letter M jump out of the molehill. Can you say M? M. All together now. Say it with me. M. M. <laughs> look at M Monster. He thinks that the letter M is the best letter in the alphabet. So, can you write the letter M? Let's all try writing it with M Monster. Have you got your paper and pencil ready? Okay then, we're drawing a big M. Well done, let's do it again. A big M. Good work, you did it. M. <laughs> Look at M Monster! He's excited because he can now write his favorite letter, M. Okay, now we know how to write the letter M. Take a look at the following words that begin with the letter M. Do you know what these objects are? They're small, round, and you can play a fun game with them. Have you worked out what the objects are yet? Shout out the answer so that we can hear you. That's right! They're called marbles. Marbles. M-A-R-B-L-E-S. Marbles. Marbles. M-A-R-B-L-E-S. Marbles. 
That was fun, wasn't it? Let's do another one. Do you know what this shiny object is? You get one for doing something very brave. That's right, it's a medal. Now let's see what the word medal looks like. Medal. M E D A L. Medal. Fantastic! Let's do it again. Medal. M E D A L. Medal. You've answered two of the questions correctly. Can you get the last one right as well? This is a hard one, but I'm sure you can work out what this is. Here's a clue. It's another name for a drawn plan of Capital Town. That's right! It's a map. And here's what the word map looks like. Say it with me. Map. M A P. Map. That's right. Let's say it together one more time. Map. M A P. Map. Wonderful! We've all learned three brilliant new words today. It's time to get active. Are you feeling fit and lively? Yes? Well, let's do an ABC monster move. Hello, everyone. Do you want to have some fun? Stand on your feet if you want to have some fun. Okay, then. Clap your hands in the air like this. That was fun, wasn't it? Now it's time to get fit with the ABC Monsters. And today, we'll be doing the M Monster exercise. Watch Brian carefully as he shows you what to do. It's easy! If Brian can do it, so can you. Are you ready? Here we go! Use your body to make a big M! That's it! Easy, wasn't it? Ready to do it again? A big M! Fantastic! Now you know the move, we can all do it together. Ready? One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. And three. Two, three, four. Four, two, three, four. Wasn't that easy? I bet you can do that again. Are you ready? Okay then. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. And three. Two, three, four, four. Two, three, four. Wow! You do the air monster move really well. Let's take a short rest to get your breath back. You'll need to be ready for your next challenge, the ABC Monster Quest. Hello, Mr. Mo. What are you doing here? Hello, everyone. I'm lost, and I need to find my family and friends at Rainbow Hill. Don't worry, Mr. Mole. We'll help you get there. Can you help Mr. Mole return to Rainbow Hill? Just fill in the box with the correct letter to help guide him home. Listen carefully. Can you tell me which is the correct letter to go into the box? Could it be N, L, or is it F? That's right! The correct letter is L. Marbles. M, A, R, B, L, E, S. Marbles. You've answered the first question correctly. Now take a look at puzzle number two. Can you tell me which letter we should put into the box? Is it B? Could it be I? Or is it M? Correct again! The letter we need to put into the box is M. Medal. M E D A L. Medal. Well 
done. Are you ready to complete the final puzzle? Which letter should we put into the box? Is it T? Or letter C? Maybe it's letter P. Wonderful work! You've picked the correct letter to the final puzzle. P. Map. M. A. P. Map. Congratulations! You've helped Mr. Mole find his friends and family at Rainbow Hill. All thanks to you. Thank you, everyone. Hooray! That's all we have time for today. I hope you enjoyed finding out about the marvelous letter M. So let's finish today's show with some music. Sing along to the ABC song as we say goodbye to Alice, Ryan, Cherry Berry, and our very special star, M Monster. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, gang again for some more fun and adventures with the ABC Monsters. to Capital Town, and you're just in time! Everyone in Capital Castle is preparing for a big party! Let's take a look and see! There's D Monster and J Monster! They're going to be the DJs at the party tonight! A DJ plays records so that people can dance to the music, like this! And here's B Monster practicing his dance moves! He knows how to boogie! Here comes P-Monster to deliver the post that the postman left at the castle. S-Monster and Z-Monster have received their pass to today's party. Now everyone has a purple party pass. Oh dear! Everyone got a purple party pass except poor P-Monster. Does everyone have their purple party passes? Wonderful! Alice, Brian and Cherry Berry are going to check that everyone is here and then we can start the party! Okay then, let's check that everyone's here! So, with a wave of Cherry Berry's gesture stick, all the ABC monsters line up in alphabetical order. Let's sing along to the ABC song. One of the ABC monsters is missing. But can you guess which one? N N O Q Hmm, that sounds weird. Oh, I know! That's right! The missing letter is P. Oh no! 
P monster is vanished. Let's see if the ABC book knows where we can find him. The clue says Polly Parrot's music is written on this item. The ABC book is telling us to go southeast. The woods are southeast. Maybe that is where Polly Parrot lives. Let's go! So Alice, Brian, and Cherry Berry took the old dirt trail through the woods. I wonder why Pea Monster went missing. Yes, it is a bit strange. He was looking forward to the big party. Look at that! Ugh, the bush is alive! That was a surprise, wasn't it? It's Polly Parrot. Hello, Polly. Hello, Cherry Berry. I didn't expect to see you and your friends in the woods today. We're looking for our friend. It's Pea Monster. He's missing. Oh, I saw him an hour ago. He helped me put my piano in my cart. Now I can wheel it to Capitol Castle to play at the party. So what were you doing in the bush, Polly? I'm looking for some paper. A gust of wind blew it off my cart. It's very important paper because it has my music written on it. And I won't be able to play the piano at the Capitol Castle party without it. Don't worry, Polly. We'll all help you find your paper sheet. Look very carefully and see if you can help Alice, Brian and Cherry Berry find Polly Parrot's paper sheets. Well spotted! You found Polly's missing paper sheets. Thank you all so much! There should be seven sheets of paper. I'll just count them to make sure that they're all here. Let's see how good you are at counting, shall we? Are you ready? Here we go! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Excellent! That was fantastic counting. Great! All my music is here. I'm very relieved that I have the correct amount of paper. Paper! That's the answer to the clue. The ABC book said, Polly Parrot's music is written on this item. Paper! P-A-P-E-R! Paper! Hooray! We solved the first puzzle! I have another clue that will help you get even closer to finding Pea Monster. This is Penny Penguin's favorite flavored jam. I hope you find Pea Monster soon. I'm sure he wouldn't want to miss a party. Alice, Brian, and Cherry Berry waved goodbye to Polly Parrot and continued on their journey. Where are we? According to the ABC book, we're getting nearer to Penny Penguin. Mmm. <laughs> what is it, Brian? <laughs> that smells yummy. You're always hungry. But Brian was already following his nose. Hey, wait for us! Look, everybody. It's Penny Penguin. I knew I could smell food. Wow, you've also found Penny Penguin. Well done. Hello, Brian. I bet you're hungry. Why are you making pancakes, Penny? For the Capitol Castle party. I was going to put something special on them. But I can't now. Oh, dear. Why not? Key Monster gave me a jar of my favorite plum jam a little while ago. But now I can't find it. We're looking for Pea Monster. We'll find your plum jam if you can help us in our quest. Okay, that sounds great. Can you spot Penny Penguin's jar of plum jam? Look closely and shout out if you see it. Is it on the stove? No. Is it inside the tree? No. Hey, look! Could the jar of plum jam be next to the fluffy rabbit? Well done! You found it! Henny Penguin's jar of plum jam was next to the rabbit. Congratulations! 
Oh, thank you. I've been looking for that everywhere. Now I'll be able to spread my favorite flavor jam on my pancakes. Plum. Plum, that's the answer to the second clue. This is Penny Penguin's favorite flavored jam. Plum. P L U M. Plum. Thank you all for helping me. Here's a special clue to find Pea Monster. Pea Monster must find the postman to receive his special item. I better get my pancakes to Capitol Castle before the party starts. Good luck finding Pea Monster. Thanks for the clue, Penny. So Alice, Brian, and Cherryberry waved goodbye to Penny Penguin and continued on their way. We've made it to town. This is the best place to find a postman. Well, there's certainly plenty of letter boxes for him to post things through. If we can find the postman, we might be able to find Pea Monster. That's when Alice spotted someone very familiar. Look over there! It's Pea Monster! But what is he doing? Let's find out! Pea Monster! We've been looking all over for you. What are you doing here? The party starts soon and you're gonna miss it. Hello, everyone. I had to find the postman. Why? My purple party pass didn't show up today and I needed to get into the party. The postman said it might have fallen to the bottom of his bag. So you're helping him empty it by delivering the mail? That's right. With two of us posting letters, the mail will be done much quicker. We'll help, too. Then we'll get done quicker. Great. We've only got this street left to do and only eight more houses. Let's count the letters that Pea Monster and his friends delivered. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And here comes Pea Monster with the last one. Eight. Well done, everyone. Thanks to you all, we managed to post the mail today in record time. Hooray! Hold on. We've forgotten to deliver this last letter. Who's it addressed to? It's addressed to a Mr. P. Monster. Alphabet Garden, Capital Castle, Capital Town. It says... King Wordy and Queen Scribble invite their good friend, P. Monster, to a very special party in Alphabet Garden. Hooray! I'll be able to go to the party now that I have my pass. Pass, of course. That's what the final clue meant. P. Monster must find the postman to receive his special item. The item was his pass. P. A. S. S. Pass! We solved all the puzzles, met new friends, and found P. Monster. Hooray! Back at Alphabet Garden, the party was in full swing. Everyone was having a wonderful time. But do you know who had the best time of all? That's right, Pea Monster. I love a good party. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another edition of ABC Monsters Brainy Gang. So let's all say a big Brainy Gang hello to our friends Alice, Brian, and Cherryberry. Today, we're going to find out about the letter P. But first, we'll need the help of a special member of the Brainy Gang. Can you guess who it might be? That's right! It's P Monster! P Monster enjoys a sing song, so we're all going to sing his favorite song. Are you ready?
It's Pea Monster, and he's holding his purple party pass. And look, here comes Cherry Berry. Do you know what letter the purple party pass has turned into? Have you worked it out yet? That's right! It's the letter P. P. All together now. Say it with me. P. Look at P Monster! He's trying to take the letter P to the party. Silly P Monster. Let's see if you can write the letter P with P Monster. Have you got your paper and pencil? Okay then. We're drawing a big P. That's a wonderful letter P. Let's see if you can do that again. A big P. Brilliant work. A perfect letter P. P Monster is very happy because he can now write his favorite letter. P. Now we all know how to write the letter P. Take a look at the following words that begin with P. Do you know what this object is called? Here's a clue. It's white. You can write and draw on it. Fold and tear it. And it's made from trees. Think carefully and shout out the answer if you know. That's right. It's paper. Paper. P-A-P-E-R. Paper. That's right. Let's say it one more time. Paper. P A P E R. Paper. You're doing really well so far, so here's puzzle number two for you. Can you guess what this strange looking fruit is called? It grows on a tree, is dark purple in color, it's soft and sweet to eat, and has a large seed in its center. Have you worked out what it's called? That's right! It's called a plum! Now let's see what the word plum looks like. Plum. P-L-U-M. Plum. Well done! Let's say that again. Plum. P-L-U-M. Plum. You've got the first two questions right. Now see if you can complete this final puzzle. Are you ready? Here it is! Do you know what this object is? Here's a clue. P Monster needed this special object to get into the party. Have you worked out the answer yet? That's right! It's P Monster's special pass. And here's what the word pass looks like. Say it with me. Pass. P A S S. Pass. That's right. Let's say it together one more time. Pass. P A S S. Pass. Excellent. You've solved all three puzzles. Can you think of any more words that begin with the letter P? Members of the Brainy Gang like to keep fit and active. So get ready for another fun packed ABC Monster Move. Hello everyone! Clap your hands in the air if you want to have some fun! That's great! It's time to get fit with the ABC Monsters. And today, we'll be doing the P Monster exercise. Watch Brian very closely as he shows you what to do. It's easy! If Brian can do it, so can you! Are you ready? Here we go! Use your body to make a big P. That's it. That wasn't so hard, was it? Shall we try that again? A big P. That's it. Now you know the P monster move. We can all do it together. Are you ready? One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four, and three. Two. Three, four. That was brilliant. Let's do it again. Are you ready? One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four, and three. Two, three, four, four, two.
two, three, four. Fantastic! You've just completed the P monster move. Now, let's have a short rest to get our breath back because next, it's the ABC Monster Quest. Look, everybody, it's Penny Penguin. Hello, Penny. Where are you going? Hello, everyone. I'm taking these tasty plum jam pancakes to the Capitol Castle party, but I'm lost. Don't worry, Penny. We'll guide you to the party. Can you help Penny Penguin find her way to the Capitol Castle party? Just fill in the box with the correct letter and help guide her along the path. Can you tell me which one fits correctly in the box to make a word? Is it A, J, or the letter X? That's right! The correct letter is A. Paper. P, A, P, E, R. Paper. You solved the first word correctly. But can you work out this next puzzle? Which letter do you think we should put into the box? Is it B, Y, or U? Well done! You're right again! The letter we need to put into the box is U. Plum. P L U M. Plum. Well done! Now it's time for the final puzzle. Do you think you can complete it? Which letter should we put into the box? Is it E? Or could it be the letter O? Excellent answer! You've picked the correct letter again. The letter S. Well done! Three out of three. Pass. P-A-S-S. -S. Pass. Wonderful! You've cleverly guided Penny Penguin to the Capital Castle Party. Thank you, everyone! Hooray! That's all we have time for today. I hope you enjoyed finding out about our featured letter, the letter P. But before we go, let's sing along to the ABC song as we say goodbye to Alice, Brian, Cherry Berry, and our very special star of the show, P Monster. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, N, Z. Don't forget to join the Brainy Gang again for some more fun and adventures with the ABC Monsters. <laughs> <laughs>